Uh, my name is Grant Britton and I live in Encinitas, California and I am a skate photographer. I got interested in skate photography through my employment at the Del Mar Skate Ranch in 1978. A lot of people had moved to you know, Encinitas, Cardiff, Del Mar just to skate Del Mar. So I got to practice you know, my craft on uh, all these just rad skaters, you know, and see a lot of them come up. Tony, where he was barely hitting coping, and then, you know, he becomes the best skateboarder in the world and the most famous skateboarder in the world. And he helped me. All those guys helped me make my name in skateboarding too. The photos in the Nixon photo series that I did are the photos of Pierre Andre that I took in Japan, and then the photo of Todd Swank's board with the Del Mar sticker on it and the Salton Sea Pool. I, I, I tried to choose photos that were more environmental, maybe a little more, like less pro skater-ish. Um, I like black and white a lot, so I wanted it to be black and white. Um, but, you know, photos that I really liked myself, you know, I didn't really care if other people liked them. These are these tsunami walls in uh, Fuji City, Japan. Lester was skating these like 20 foot walls and probably getting up, you know, three quarters of the way and they, they go straight up and then they kind of overhang a little bit. And then that was the drop in spot and I saw Pierre standing up there and I go, Pierre, stand right there, turn your board a little bit so I can see it. And I shot directly into the sun and the original image doesn't look like that, but this is what I did in the dark room. When I got back home, I. I printed it, just really burned, burned it in a lot and trying to pick up the grain and, and the reflections and, you know, and the light refraction and, and uh, just going for something super moody, you know. This image of the Sims board of, uh, was Todd Swank's board and it was just sitting on the coping and it had the Del Mar sticker on it that Pusshead did, by the way. And I was shooting photos and I just, you know, when it, I think he bailed a trick or something, sorry Todd. And, uh, and it was just sitting there and then I go, you know, let me get a quick picture of this. And I think I shot, I think it's with a, yeah, with a fish shot. I don't know, you know what? That might be my bad lens. Cause I remember this has a kind of a dark area at the bottom too. And uh, so I shot it and I think I ended up using it for a Del Mar uh, article that we were working on or for a contest article or something. You know, I love Del Mar. I've never lived in Del Mar, except when I lived in the, on the pool table at the skate park for eight months. That's the only time I lived in Del Mar. Pool table's hard. I just thought it looked cool. You know, anything Del Mar was okay with me. For the um, third one, I picked this salt and sea pool photo. Primo Desiderio showed me a color f snapshot one day and he goes, check out this pool we found out at the Salton Sea and it was a color shot about that big and I go oh man with the palm trees and everything and I couldn't believe it you know that this thing was out there so my wife and I drove all I knew it was on the other side of the Salton Sea so we drove around stopped at a few places shot dead fish um, and then I see this building over there and I go I wonder if that's the building so I climbed the fence hop the fence with my camera and there's just this pristine pool and palm trees. The water's you know, just super blue. The original photo is a color slide and I converted it to black and white. I've never got to shoot a skater there. It finally, they bulldozed it. They redid the building, but they bulldozed the pool. It's this really cool time in history where there was no graffiti. It was just you know a clean, pristine pool. People that skated it later, they look at this photo and they go, oh my God, that's." They can't believe that's what it looked like then. My advice for kids or anybody who wants to get into skate photography, I think being a skater really helps. You don't have to learn you know, the tricks and you kind of know the right angles from seeing a lot of skate photos in magazines and online. You really need to want to shoot photos for the right reasons, not just to make money because there's not a lot of money in it. And, and I'm gonna be really discouraging. We're gonna have some tough love here right now. You just really need to, uh, I think, learn every aspect of photography, not just skate photography, all the other things you can learn, you know, portraiture, 
landscapes, architecture, whether you know abstract, whatever it is, can help your skate photography. It really helped mine. I wanted to be not just a skate photographer, but just a photographer, and 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 not have to say no to people. If somebody you know wants you to shoot something, and you say no, I I don't know how to shoot babies. Um, but so I wanted to learn every aspect of photography and so it's good to learn everything. We all start at the bottom. We have to work our way up. You have to have patience, perseverance, and if you stick with it, you will persevere and never give up.